this is Praxis. It is Christmas Eve and doing some last minute work on the house. And uh, it's kind of interesting what I'm putting up right now because what I'm about to install is actually the first piece of the house that was built before this house, before the, the forest was even cleared. And it's this pot rack. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you might remember I did a video long time ago about uh, how I was starting this pot rack and how I was building it to engage with these rafters here before the rafters even existed. And we finally made it so I can install the thing. Uh, it was uh, pretty easy to get all these little hooks up here and they just uh, connect to these chains because again, I designed it for going in right here. The only trick is just trying to kind of figure out exactly which link I wanna have these guys uh, hanging from to get a good height. I might play with this for a little bit. It's probably lower. What do you think, Amber? Too low? Mm, maybe just a tiny bit higher. Oh, actually, I think that might be gonna be good height. Right, well, if it's good for you, it's low for me. Huh? If it's good for you, then it's low for me. So you want it to be too high for me? Well, well remember, you're not grabbing the pot rack. You're grabbing the pots that are hanging from it. True. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So let's see. Well, again, we'll play with it. Yeah. Let's see if I can get one up over on this side. Now, I uh, intentionally made all these chains a little bit on the long side so that I have plenty. I can always trim off more. Yeah, yeah that's not bad. That's not a bad height there. My one uh, concern about this has always been uh, the lighting that's going to be trying to hit the counters here with this in the way. Uh, I, I was never able to really figure out a place where I wanted to have this where it wouldn't cast shadows necessarily. So what I, I came up with is it, it's a really big pot rack. Uh, one great thing about building your own pot rack is if you were going to buy something like this, it'd be really, really expensive. Even small pot racks, if, like go into a Google search for pot rack right now. They're ridiculously expensive for what they are, and they're nowhere near as high quality and as uh, robust as this one is. Um, so uh, it's a big pot rack. What I'm going to do is just maybe not put a lot of pots right here. You know, the pots will be mostly over there, and the stuff here might be, you know, glassware things like... Uh, do I have an example? No, a glass pitcher or something, a measuring cup. You can hang under there and it's not going to wreck your light. This seems like this is working for me pretty well. Uh, earlier today, I did a one run over to the temporary house that we've been at and uh, picked up some more stuff, including this pot rack. Uh, I, because of something that River had said earlier, I kind of was kept thinking about that, uh, that Grinch song from like the old 1960s cartoon where he's stealing from the Who's because it's Christmas Eve. And I'm essentially pilfering the other house, to leaving nothing but some hooks and some wire. Uh, and the only thing that I left in the house was a crumb that was even too small for a mouse. That's it. Thanks for watching.